welcome back. Now that you've had some time to get used to listening, listening deeply to your baby and repeating back the sounds your baby makes, it's time to sing your baby some new songs. And I have lots and lots of little songs for you to sing to your baby, but we're going to start with something very foundational, and that is just making up and down sounds. Up sounds like this, and down sounds like this. And you can make an explosion at the bottom if you want. Imagine those cartoons where something fell out of the sky. The sound is actually coming down and on your piano or keyboard up moves to the right. Until you get up here and these pitches, you can't even make those pitches. Well, I can't. Maybe you can. Probably not. Um, and down is to the left. If you have a toy keyboard, it's the same. Up is to the right, down is to the left. So you can even hold your baby, and when you pick up your baby, go whoop, up we go, whoo, down we go. And your baby will start to get the idea that this is up, whoop, and this is down, whoo. This is also going to help you if you don't have musical experience to really get the hang of how it feels in your voice to go up. If you're very aware, you can actually feel the vibrations go from your chest all the way up into this part of your face. And as you come down, you can feel it down here. It's kind of cool how up and down actually happens in your instrument as you sing. So that's our practice for this week. It's a simple thing to do. Part of, part of practicing piano is just establishing a habit. I read about someone who wanted to become a runner and they started the first few days just putting on their shoes and then taking them off. So doing something tiny like this is helping your baby establish a practice habit so that later you don't have to beg them to practice. It's the best. Okay, have so much fun with your baby. I'll see you next time.